All right, guys, I'm messing with the Eagle Talon. Um, I didn't record it, but I do. I did get it running. Um, I just uh, took the starter signal wire, disconnected it, and hooked the wire to it so I could like tap it to the battery to actually engage the starter. And then I just uh, made like a little temporary, basically it was a Yoohoo bottle with some small silicone hose hooked to the top vacuum port on the intake, spun it over, that poured, you know, the vacuum sucked the fuel into the intake and the car ran. So, um, of course it was running pretty rich, but you know, just test the theory that it did run. So after hearing it run for a little bit, you know, it probably ran for a good, like five, 10 minutes that way. Um, I went ahead cause man, I know the fuel pump is going to be trash because it's been sitting for like 10 years now. So, uh, thankfully this is a plastic fuel tank, which I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so I don't think there's going to be like any, you know, rust in the tank except for the fuel pump which i've already got it out i'll show you guys that and we'll go ahead and move right along get the fuel pump replaced and get this thing fired up and actually drive it so um, let me show you what i got going on so this is the fuel descending unit and everything out of the talon um you see it's pretty crusty and what sucks is you can find these for the um the non-turbo car and all that stuff but i can't find a complete one for the turbo car because the i was thinking it was just out of fuel and yeah i was trying to like straight wire the fuel pump so i could hear it run uh, but it was saying it's on e but it was a full tank i learned that the hard way let me tell you i made a mess uh so as soon as i started disconnecting stuff fuel started going everywhere and like right now i'm trying to uh get the fuel out of the tank or as much of this you can see like the chunks of stuff in it um and very brown so I'm gonna get all this stuff out of the tank, put some fresh fuel in here and a fresh pump and we should be good to go. I'm trying not to spill this in my interior and make it smell like old bad gas. So, not to bore you guys with like 30, 40 minutes of me doing this because it's probably gonna take a while. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys once I get this all drained down and what I'm gonna do for the fuel pump. Uh, I can order one from Summit, so if I order it today, um, it may be here by, or it should be here by Wednesday, but I was trying to want to do something a little bit stouter than just a factory replacement, um, so hopefully I won't have to be back in here for some time, but we'll see. I'll show you guys what I do to, you know, fix that, and I might try to play, you know, clean the contacts on that, uh, you know, the level sensor to see if I can get the uh, gauge to work, um, but yeah. But anyway, I think this old girl's gonna work out pretty good. I just need to get it running so I can actually drive it and make sure things solid. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get the fuel out of this thing real quick. All right, guys, y'all have missed a lot. Like I said, I've just been really excited about this thing, man. Um, the fuel pump, of course, was shot just because the car has been sitting. The reason the car was put down is because the starter circuit wasn't working, I'm assuming. They were saying something about the computer or something like that. Um, I don't see that being the issue. So I just jump started the starter. I put a fuel pump in it out of a 350Z. So it has a 350Z fuel pump, and if you can believe it or not, um, it fits perfect. Even the connector for the um, the power, same thing, plugs right in. Uh, it's just a little bit short, so the little cradle didn't hold it up. I just put, you know, a rubber hose around it and a zip tie, and this thing is, uh, well, it's running. <laughs> like I said, I'm still jumping the starter. I'll fix that later. Look at that. Oh, you look. So I didn't record any other stuff. So I tightened the belts and everything. Um, this is the, <laughs> the 350Z sending unit I tore apart and uh, the Eagle Talons fuel pump. So I'm going to rebuild the fuel system in this thing because the uh, you know the float doesn't work so it's not reading and like the the seal for the gas tank is like trash so i can like so i can get a fuel pump like overnight but like all the stupid little things that are hard to find for this thing i'm probably not going to get so i just put that fuel pump in there for now so i can drive it and that's what i'm about to do um so i didn't want you guys to miss the first drive so i'm about to jump in it right now I'm going to drive up here to the gas station and just put some air in the tires 
and uh, just drive around. And the AC works on this junk too, bro. How cool is that? <laughs> That's a little rough. Dude, I'm so, I'm like, man, stop. It's, it's like I said, it's, it's a little, it's a little beat up. It's, it's far from perfect. I mean, it's got some oil leaks and some other things, but you know, it, it's a car that works. Dude, the clutch is really, I didn't think I was gonna have a clutch. Well, I hadn't checked brakes or anything like that. We're just gonna go full sand and drive this thing. <laughs> I know the fans are coming on. I have oil pressure, but it's really low. It's probably just because the oil is really old. So. It's moving. I can't believe how much I paid for this car. I stole this thing. If that's all that's wrong with it, is that stupid freaking starter relay? It's behind the dash. I'll give you that. Still. Second gear. This is so cool, man. It's gonna be hard not to turn this into like my daily or something. Brakes, of course. It's been sitting. Like I said, I mean, I would think about 10 years. I don't know. I got how like that's what people like V8s. Like I love V8s, man. Like these cars feel so dead on like low end. I cannot believe. I paid less for this car than I did for the one I had back when I was like 19 years old that I bought, thought it was blown up, but it turned out to be just that, uh, oh shoot, my bad guys. It turned out just to be the uh, computer fuse. Um, so it wasn't a big deal, but that thing was, it needed a lot of work. I can't believe this. Working AC, like the only thing that doesn't work that I've seen so far is the radio which it's so i think i'm gonna throw this thing up and see if somebody wants it more than i do and just service it and everything i don't want to really get into it because i don't want to abuse it until i get it until i check everything but it seems to be doing pretty good. Like this thing is 100% stock. Still has the stock exhaust. Like nothing's been done to this thing. Except for the blow off valve. Which I'm pretty sure they did that just because they break on these cars. I'm going to go the back way because we we riding dirty a little bit. And all that. <laughs> like I said, it's, it's past uh, my insurance company's close. So we riding around... Um, you know breaking the law a little bit so forgive me but like i said i live right in town so we're just gonna run up here and get some gas or not gas but just check the tire pressure because my compressor and i gotta replace that little little fan on it the cooling fan but so far this thing is driving awesome oil pressure is a little bit low it's kind of scary i ain't gonna lie but other than that and not knowing how much fuel I have is uh, nerve-wracking for me. Because I, I ride around with like my car on like half or above. Dude, this is so crazy, man. I can't believe this car set that long over some nonsense. Wouldn't you know that the state the gas station is just jam-packed full of people? Dang it. The temperature staying staying okay. Everything is so soft on this car. It's so weird, like the clutch, the brakes. It's like non-existing almost. Yeah, y'all leave, leave, leave so I can get to the, the air machine. Dun, 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 dun. I probably should put some more fuel in this thing. 
But I didn't get all the fuel out. I just kind of drained out the majority of it. One second. All right, guys. As long as this thing's been sitting, the tires were still, still had good pressure. So, um, the only thing that's worried me so far is the oil, the, uh, like the oil pressure's down low, but this oil is probably extremely old, so. Um, it looks clean, but like I said, I think the tag is like 2013 on this thing, so. Transmission shifts good. I got a brake light on, or a, uh, yeah, yeah. anti-lock brake light on and a check engine light on. But other than that, she seems to be running pretty good. Power steering is making a little noise too. Here. Turbo seems to be kind of peppy. It's wanting to, it's wanting to make some turbo noise. I'm trying to stay out of the boost. <laughs> oh geez, man, I miss this stuff. Man, like this brings back a lot of memories. That's why I blew my car up back in the day. Like everybody got turbo noise. I was like, turbo noise for you, turbo noise for you. Just making boost noise everywhere. So cool. These are cool cars, man. <laughs> this thing is a hundred percent stock. Like I said, besides that little blow off valve. That's so crazy. This is so cool. I don't regret going to get this thing at all. Let me stop right here. I can't wait. I'm gonna put insurance on tomorrow and go get it registered and all that stuff so I can actually drive it. Um, I hear a little bit of noise. Mm. Don't know what that is. Oh, that's what that is. Huh. It's the inner fender. So, we might be good. Look at that thing. Ah! Golly, man. It's so cool. If no one comes, if no one meets my asking price, I'm obviously going to keep this thing, but I'm going to do very little to it. Coilovers, I'll probably leave these wheels on it because they don't look that bad. Um, I'll probably put an exhaust on it. Just clean it up. Find the original bumper for it because like this is like a, a 95, 96 rear bumper. I said just clean it up and enjoy having one of these things. Maybe get like a little front mount or something. Maybe get some body repair done. New corner light. Man. I was this close not to getting this car. I, I was remembering like, the, the 4G63 is the only car I've ever had that was more unreliable than a RX-7. Like I said, you think RX-7s give you a hard time. Buy one of these things. <laughs> Especially once you start modifying it. When they're stock, dude, they're super cool. But as soon as you start doing stuff to them, it is all downhill after that. But that was like way back. Like, I was 19 years old when I had my car. So maybe, maybe today it's a little bit, they're a little bit better. So <sighs> this thing is leaky. It, it needs a lot of love, but like I said, it's an old car. <laughs> so excited. But all right, guys, that's it for me, man. I'm going to go home and like I said, order the stuff I need to like do the fuel system in this correctly with like a good fuel pump and like a new standing unit. If I can find one, I can't find it. Um, that's going to suck. But I looked at a lot of different places and couldn't find one. But um, I'll make something work. I'm just, I'm happy that it, it works. But all right, guys. Like I said, I know this channel's small and like my videos are like super scattered and chaotic because I'm, I'm a normal guy. I'm just a normal guy, just like y'all. And uh, for the people that stick around and watch the videos, you are greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, it makes sharing these moments also, you know, way better. <laughs> but all right.
that's it for me guys i'll see you on the next one